Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Fisher and I'd like to share with you why I think you should take APCS principles next year. So the first reason is that you get to earn college credit while still in high school. It's fun and collaborative. You work with your partners and in small groups throughout the year. You also learn how to solve problems computationally through programming. We're actually going to learn uh, the JavaScript language, which I think you are working in, in um, fundamentals of computer science. You learn about important topics that impact um, your life every day, such as the internet and how it really works, cybersecurity, data and information, uh, big data, and you also increase your future opportunities because people who have skills in computing and computer science are always in demand. So let's talk a little bit more uh, specifically about this college credit. This course is equivalent to one semester of an introduction to computer science for non-majors in college. So what does this actually translate into? If you take a look at these four very popular Texas universities for Texas A&M, uh, if you look at principles, you actually get if you have at least um, a three out of five. So this this scale is one to five, five being the highest score on an AP exam. If you get a three, then you will get credit for this course um, from the college, the computer science department. And this is UT Austin. Again, if you take a look at principles, if you get at least a three, you will get credit in this computer science 1319 course. This is Texas State University. And again, if you take a look at principles, if you get at least a three, you'll get credit for this course, CS302. And for U of H, if you get um, at least a three, you'll get credit for this computer science course. So um, different colleges um, have different policies, but those are four very common universities, popular universities. So who should take um, CS principles? If you're interested, you should take it. It is truly a course for all. Um, I encourage anyone who is uh, curious to ask me questions about it, but it is really a computer science um, course that is designed for anyone who is interested. What are the requirements? As long as you're willing to complete your assignments on time, you're open to collaborating with a partner or working in small groups. And you're also open to not only receiving feedback, but also giving feedback to your peers and also receiving feedback from me. Um, then you're, you, are, you, meet, you meet the requirements of the course. So let me go ahead and share some example projects with you. So we recently finished up our create tasks, which are part of the requirements to receive um, AP credit for CS principles. So this one right here, let me go ahead and refresh, is from a senior who took it, um, Gabby Waring. So she named her app Spot the Stuff. I'll go ahead and click here. There are hidden images that you need to look for and you can hear the music as well. Go ahead and there is a All right, so now we've got to spot the stuff here. And so I'm looking for these things and I see the sunglasses here. And then I see the horseshoe. And I'm looking for the bat, but I didn't make it in time. But there are different levels. That is one example. I was a little too slow for that. Okay, this one, you also have to be pretty fast. This is by uh, Jesse Zhang. Um, he is a sophomore. And so this game, you have to click you have, and be very fast um, to play that game. But he, he used a cool kind of 80s uh, retro design. This one is by Paige McNamara, and you actually use the keys to catch the notes here. But if you can't catch all the notes in time, and I think I'm running out of time here, then um, you 
see this bar will go down All right, and then the last one I wanted to share is a Connect Four. This is by Kavi Shaw. And so if we play together here, we could simulate, he simulated the Connect Four game. So um, that was just a really neat way to um, have two people play Connect Four, four but digitally. So those are four examples. All right, so in CS Principles, you will learn the skills to be able to create your own creative apps. So just a little bit about me. Um, I love rock climbing and hiking, and I would love to know a little bit more about you. If you take AP CS Principles, we will get to know each other and all of the students in the class together. Uh, just an FYI, I do use the code.org curriculum, um, and so we will be using that throughout the year. If you have any questions, just email me. This is my email address, alice.fisher at houstonisd.org. And also talk to current students who are in CS Principles. I think that's also a really good way to know more about the course. Um, so hopefully you will take it next year and I'll see you in class. Bye.